Hey guys, as promised, I am dedicating this weekend's video to solving these egg puzzles that I got at the Paris World Championship. Also, as you're watching this, I'm somewhere in Europe and I really don't know where I am as I'm filming this. So yeah, enjoy the video. I'm going to start with the simplest one. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, uh, there's an explanation made by the creator of this puzzle um, on my Paris vlog, my uh, World Championships vlog. You can So you have this little bar with two balls and you can either insert it in that hole or in this one. And you have to get all the way to the other side, basically. So let me show you a demonstration. This one, bring it through that hole, bring it all the way down, move it to this side. Move it up here, on the side here, move it all the way down there, and I can take it out of the hole. So, the other way around, uh, that's not what I was supposed to do, <laughs> alright, and finally I've got this here, and I'll take it out like that. So it's quite easy, but this is the first one. This is the easiest one he had. A, a very simple one. So that was just to show you the concept. The second one is much more difficult. It's much larger as you can see. Uh, now there are two versions of that one. Uh, there's actually three versions, but I only bought two. This one has 56 moves. This one, 7. So I am not going to solve that one. This one has 24, so I'm going to start by solving this one, and the other one I think I'm just going to need to sit down and solve it on my own because otherwise I won't be able to concentrate on the video, plus that gives you an incentive to get one yourself. So anyways, let's start. So what you need to know is that this one is much more complex, so it can move like this, and you can turn this 360 degrees. So you also need to play with that in order to be able to solve it. So let's start by inserting it here. Now if it's in the wrong orientation, you're blocked. Now, let's start. So, now I can move it. Now, there's something quite confusing about this. Like, if you turn it, uh, if you turn it, you'll, you, you can actually sometimes get, like, um, the wrong path. Uh, let's see if I can find my way through this. Um, Alright. So, I think that's the way to go. Actually, I'm wrong. This is actually already confusing, even though I just started this video. Um, so, if I move it here... Okay, so there's a way to move it. If you turn it all the way there, then you can move it through this hole. Now, that is actually not the way to go. So, not only is it difficult because there's more moves, but sometimes you can always also go the wrong path which is not something that you can get on the other one. So you actually have to go down there, for example. So, now I can move it like this. Um, hmm. Okay, move it down there. Now that I'm here, I can move it all the way up here. Maybe turn it this is very confusing, as you can see. Um, hmm. So there's many moves, as you can see, I'm also playing with this, these moves that move the bottom piece as well. So sometimes you can get some more complex moves that can take you to different places and uh, sometimes these moves are not the right ones. So right now I'm not even sure that I'm getting the right solution for you guys. Um, again, this is a very confusing puzzle to solve, so, and, and that's what makes it interesting. See, it was the wrong direction, so I just switched directions, I went through there, and it works. So now, again, I'm turning the whole thing when I do this. Now I move it out that way, I can go downwards, make it go out this way. I remember this part is very confusing, I don't remember why. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
This is very difficult. And that is what I like about those puzzles, that they're really a challenge that I've never seen before. Something that is very unusual on these types of puzzles. I'm not used to getting these difficult, you know, um, non-twisty puzzles. And well, this is actually some sort of cross between a non-twisty and a twisty. But I think it's really, really amazing. So I think that's the way to go. Or maybe I'm just going backwards. All right, so no, that is not the way to go. Wow, I remember jiggling it a bit uh, somewhere around there, and it used to to move through. I just can't remember what I did because ideally I need to bring this all the way there, um, and really it's not easy at all. So, so let's see, what can I do? Bring this all the way there. Hmm. So believe it or not, I, I actually had to take like a 20 minute break just to figure out how to do this. And um, I'm actually at my fourth take because I can't figure it out again. Uh, there's actually a maze on the inside. Um, once you've reached this point, there's a, a hidden maze that's on the inside. If you move this around, you can figure it out somehow. And um, see, I'm moving it up and down as I'm jiggling this a bit. And you see here, I've, I've, um, I've, I, I think I've found something because here I can move this. So maybe now if I turn it like that hmm I can move it here and that's where the the difficulty lies so it's actually extremely difficult to figure out what you want to do and, and well what you have to do and and how to do it so that's that's the whole difficulty of the puzzle and to be honest it's it's one of the most difficult non twisty puzzles that I've ever had um, and well if you consider that it's only 24 moves, um, it's it's really really difficult. This is actually not solved yet because because there is one slight mistake. I didn't really finish the maze. I still had to move it around again. I think. So again, see, I'm not even sure I, I, I solved this yet. Um, wait, there is this. I need to go there. But I remember this not being in this position last time I solved it. Which would mean I need to move here and there. And I would need oops. Oh, so I haven't solved it completely. Right, there it is. I think so. <laughs> I have a doubt. It's it's very difficult. I think it's a matter of playing with the depth now. I'm trying to get this rail trying to get this rail here to move inside and grab that uh, wrench that I'm using to turn the whole puzzle. Um, so there's that turn moving the whole puzzle down then if you move it like this, no, that's not sufficient then maybe you can turn it like that inside the puzzle and here I can turn it and finally solve it so it is a very very difficult puzzle to solve. The, this thing just took me like 30 minutes even though I didn't show it on camera and this is the easy one. Now I said I only had the blue one and the black one. I, I was actually wrong. I, I, I forgot that I got carried away at the Paris World Championships and I bought the orange one as well. Now you see there's multiple layer, uh, I mean multiple levels of difficulty. The one layer labyrinth, those are kind of easy and the two layer labyrinth which are extremely difficult so that one was the, just the challenging one there's the difficult one and the maddening one now um, 
So the thing is, I would never solve these two on camera because that would take too long. That one was already confusing, trying to not get out of frame and everything. So um, it's definitely one of the most difficult puzzles I've ever had to solve on camera. Um, these are incredible. Seriously, those are absolutely incredible. And uh, I've got all three. This one, 24 moves. This one, like, 36. And this one, 56, I think. This is going to be completely insane. So... But then again, I won't be showing you that, so you'll have to get them yourself. These are incredible. I highly recommend you get one as soon as they come out on Amazon. The Smart Eggs are absolutely perfect. They're exactly what I want when I buy a puzzle. So, yeah, I hope you you enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you'll be convinced to buy one because these are amazing. Uh, I might get some on my, my Amazon shop now that I've opened a shop. Um, maybe I'll sell these and try to, you know get them before Christmas. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I sure as hell enjoy these puzzles and I'm gonna have a great time with them at home and I might bring one during my holidays uh, for the train. Uh, anyways, um, as always, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, like my social networks, my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video.